Hi guys, so here we go. I don't think I gave this mic a good enough chance to impress me. Um, I set it up, I unboxed it and did like a mini first video. 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 Video or a video. There's two ways of saying it. I say video like a V. V. V video. V meaning small, short. V video. V video. A short video. But yeah, anyway. I had some comments about my videos, video, you know what I'm talking about, Reke. Anyway, so this mic setup here is going to be the main setup at the moment. I found my old reporter's mic, which is this one here, which is this one here. I'm testing this out because if I'm a bit further away, it'll give you an idea of how it sounds. So right now, this is me talking directly into the mic, not this one, this one. And the pop filter is about an inch away, and I'm a further inch away, so maybe two inches maximum. It's plugged directly into the PC. And my voice sounds quite thin on this one. Thin, as in it's not much deep bass to it. Whereas on my AKG reporter's mic, which is a D230, I would normally speak like, like this into the mic directly, and it gives you a bit more deepness. It's all metal construction. It's a reporter-style mic, so actually this one is better but it's a case of holding it and it's fine. It's a more expensive uh, mic, but obviously not everybody's gonna be buying those mics. I mainly use them for interviews on camera, so more professional stuff um, out and about on the field because you could put a flag box on there, which I might have here somewhere. Maybe not somewhere in this maze anyway so this mic um now well it'll give you an idea because as i've been speaking i've been moving about so this is me speaking directly into the mic if i start moving over to this side and the left hand side to see what it sounds like and you should hear if it's giving you any better or not but yeah if i come back around to this side and you can see the front sounds that way and then carry on coming around and then this sounds around the back so technically it's picking up voice everywhere because on here I can see it's giving me a reasonable um, wavelength. So that gives you an idea of the actual mic direct speaking into it. So the idea was I'm going to start using this a bit more because we're doing some story books, um, reading audio books. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the best mic for it because it doesn't sound great to my ear. But for anybody that's not too intensely into it, it will sound fine. But then is it worth having all this extra mechanism and taking up space if I could just use the mic and plug that out easily and get it out of the way. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And I think that's more or less my test. Let me try without the pop filter. So I'll keep this recording. Let me move the pop filter. So I've just moved that out the way up there. Now I'm speaking directly into the mic. And if I speak into the mic right up close, I can see it's give me a better audio there but it depends what it sounds like after I normalize it and then if I speak further away without the pop filter so the pop 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 filter there's no pop on there so that's meant to stop those put and all that business but let's see how it does because mics I'm more new into this kind of thing so just be the case of I'm testing it as a new person would test it because some of the guys I've seen online, they're actually really intense with their testing and they've got all sorts of Sennheiser mics and stuff. So they use those and they, they compare this to that. But for me, it's just the case of as long as my audio is clear enough for you to hear, then it's fine. But again, this is just giving you an idea of speaking from different points. And the shock mount is actually quite good because it's mounted on my desk. But I'm thinking because my PC sits in this desk also, it does have a bit of a rumble so because this is now connected to my table will that interfere with this especially because i'm using a line in jack i'm not even using phantom power direct because i've tried the phantom let me show you that i've tried this phantom box but it's, it's really light if you, you see that it's like what 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 so there's like a, a fake box but when i soon as I plug it in there was no difference there was no change at all in terms of the audio so i don't know if it's meant to be that way but we'll see we'll see give it a chance and see what it does but that is this mic 
I may do a switch over. So I'll do a switch over and give you my, you know what, I will do that. So if I stop this. Okay, so now I've switched over mics and I've moved from the newer mic to my AKG mic. This is the main one I use. So you should be able to see now what that sounds like. Not see, but here. So if I take this mic off the stand. So you can see now this is a bit more relaxing so I can actually look at the screen and talk directly into the mic. This obviously is hands free but this one I can hold in my hand. It's got a bit more metal construction on the top and it's actually got an inbuilt kind of pop filter so it's it's good in that sense. So now you can see this one if I speak directly into it then this is what it sounds like. If I speak off to the side this is what it will sound like from the side. And if I'm just holding it like that and speaking past it, that's what it sounds like. It doesn't pick up as much from further away. So you see as I move it away, as I move it away, you can hear what that sounds like there. And then as I move it back to my mouth, it would be a bit better. So it's actually getting rid of any noise around me. So it sounds better when I speak directly into it. So that's probably something to think about. Again, this is something I already had. So I've been using it, but I thought let's give this newer a try because it's meant to be better but now it's a comparison you've got from something I've been using which I'd consider more professional this is the AKG professional one this is entry level mic so it looks the part but let's see what you think and you can hear it but it's more a case of letting you see what it sounds like and how you think it performs because obviously you'll ultimately be checking these out to see if the if that mic is worth you getting or not but hopefully this has been helpful has it been helpful? Ricky? Ricky? Video? Video?